Hi guys, welcome to the second video of lesson two. And as you can see on the screen, we're using some place value disks. So if you don't have them already, stop the video and you need um, some decimal disks. I should have them ready for you, but you need three ones, seven tenths, five hundredths, and twenty-three thousandths. You can get them in the bin uh, where we keep those. Um, and Go ahead and start the video when you're ready, and we're going to get going. So I want you to put um, six thousandths, and I want you to use five um, group formations. So you have six thousandths um, disks, but you're going to put them one, two, three, four, five, and then one more. So go ahead and line up your thousandths like this. Don't worry about the ones on the bottom. Just do these right here, six thousandths, okay? All right. And then we're just going to think about that in unit form, fraction form, decimal form, and word form. Four different ways to think about that. And we have six thousands, right? So six thousandths, right? Six out of a thousand, six thousandths. And then in decimal form, six thousandths, and then in unit form, six. And I'm just going to write TH. It's a little hard for me to write right now, so six thousandths. And then in word form, we would just write out the six. And the thousandths with the TH on the end. Okay, so if you could go to your um, lesson two book the, with the magnifying glass, lesson two in your learn book, oops, sorry, wrong way, with your magnifying glass, then go to the page that's facing it, and on that page is where you're going to take your notes. Remember that you have to have your notes to pass to, to get your mastery, so go ahead and go to that page and write this down. Remember that you can pause the video to get your book ready and those kind of things, because I'm going to keep going. Okay, so get your book, write it down so that you have your notes and you're ready to go. Awesome. Okay, so now I want you to get 10 more thousandths discs and put them in a five formation just like this. Okay, so you have 10 more thousandths discs in five formations. But that is a lot of discs, isn't it? So is there a way that we can represent this with less disks? Think about that. Think about what we've been talking about with the liquid and with the area models and with the tape diagrams. You are right. We can take this whole set and we can exchange it for one hundredth, right? So this is the same as that. I'm going to just draw an arrow, arrow, arrow so that you remember that 10 thousandths is the same as 1 hundredth, right? Just like 10 tenths is the same as one whole, right? Then 10 thousandths is the same as 1 tenth, okay? Um, so we can exchange that. Now, Instead of six thousandths, now we have sixteen thousandths. And instead of six thousandths, we have sixteen thousandths. Of course, we need to add teen here, sixteen thousandths. And here we can get our eraser and we can erase the hundreds place because now we have a one in the hundreds place and now we have sixteen thousandths right so just to be clear this section in the blue that is sixteen thousandths right because we exchanged our um, ten thousandths for the one hundred okay we can also write this as one hundredth I'm just going to write hun, but that's drip with the th on the end, 
and 6,000, right? Because we really have 100 and six thousands, right? And you see right here, 100 and six thousands. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to do a couple more and you're going to be doing them with your uh, place value discs. So let's clear this off and get ready for our next one. Perfect. Okay, so now I want you to get four hundredths and thirteen thousandths. Four hundredths and thirteen thousandths. I'm not sure if your discs are the same color as mine, but there's my four hundredths. And then I already have 10, so I'm just going to pull down three more. So now I have 13,000, so I'm going to put my other ones away. Okay, so make yours look like mine. If you need to pause the video to do that, you can certainly do that. Okay. Now, once again, I have quite a few discs there. Is there something that I can exchange so that I have less discs on my table or on my screen? And you might have noticed, anytime you have a group of 10, you can exchange it for the next higher one up. So think of it as like if you have 10 ones, then that becomes a 10, right? So it's the same sort of thing. I have 10 thousandths and I'm going to exchange that and go over here and get one more hundredth. So this is now gone. What is in the circle has been exchanged for one hundredth, right? I'll draw an arrow to it there. So now what is my number? Well, let's think of what our number was before. We had four hundredths, right? When we started, we had four hundredths. I just brought in this fifth one, right, when I exchanged, and I had 13 thousandths. 13 thousandths. So if I put that all together, just like regular adding, right, if you want to put a zero here, there's no problem with that. Make sure that you keep your um, decimal point in place. So that's 53 thousandths, right? So I had one, two, three, four, and then here I had 13, that makes 53 thousandths. Now that I exchange this for a hundredth, now I have five hundredths, right? And not nearly as many thousandths, now I only have three thousandths, okay? But you see that when we put it together, it's gonna come out the same. So just like regular addition, keeping the decimal in the same place, 0, 5, 3, still 53 thousandths, okay? So what we're seeing is that I can rename, but that my amount is going to be the same, right? So if I had 10 dimes or I had $1, it would still be the same amount of money, right? So same thing here, that it's equivalent but it just has a different name.